What's going on everyone? Chris here with Clutter Reduction Junk Removal and today we're going to be doing a junk removal for a contractor who found me through a referral in a city pretty northern of me. I don't even go there for marketing reasons because it's such a drive. So we're going to go there. I'm taking just a truck with me because it is, like I said, a little bit farther away. For me to take the trailer there is going to be like 10 gallons of gas and that's like 40, 50 bucks. So I'm just taking the truck. It's not a crazy amount. Otherwise, I would absolutely take the trailer. It looks like I can fit it in the bed of my truck. Might be a little tricky, but it's doable. And that's the great thing about having a pickup truck and junk removal. Even if you don't have a trailer set up yet, or maybe you're doing like a box truck or a junk truck, you can do stuff with just your pickup truck. You just have to be conscious of the total volume that you're trying to accept or be prepared to take trips. And the great thing about it is if you're just using your truck, it's also a lot easier and more budget conscious to kind of run things through that because you have less insurance it's like now you don't have two separate vehicles. So with a pickup truck, you can do minimum pickups, which is a huge thing in junk removal. Very common. Someone just wants to get rid of one couch. They just want to get rid of one mattress. They just want to get rid of a dresser because they're getting something new in or they're moving out and that's the one thing they're leaving behind. A lot of people don't want to call and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get rid of something. So that's where a minimum pickup comes in. And the more of an operation you use, the more costly it is. So having a pickup truck, real quick, you just load it up, you go get rid of it. So that's a great way to get junk removal business with just a truck. And then as you grow and you start pocketing and profit and you realize, okay, you know, I could do this a little bit more often, maybe consider going to get a trailer, whether it's enclosed, a utility trailer, a dump trailer, whatever it is. So I'll show you guys a job when we get there. I had already told him on the phone it was going to be basically three-eighths of a load. It's technically a quarter load, but for debris, I charge a little extra. So we're going to go load that up. I'll show you guys that job when we get there, and then we'll talk about how much it costs to get rid of everything and the total time spent afterwards. So we're about done with this job. The story behind this job is the guy called me last night around six o'clock and said, hey, I got your number from a cleaning service I've never heard of. So I appreciate the referral, whoever you are. And he said he has just a few leftover trash in a garage. So this is what we got so far. I brought my speed pack with me, which is behind that because I knew I could pile stuff up vertically safely. Got the drywall in the middle as a support beam. We're gonna fill in the rest of these bags here. I just confirmed with him that is in fact everything. The wooden drywall weren't originally going. So imagine my surprise. And I'm like, cool, I get to cut all this stuff up. So I tacked on an extra 20 bucks for having to do that, which I would have done anyways, just for volume purposes with the trailer. All right, we were done with that job. We just ran to the dump, changed back into the polo shirt, which if you notice, I had a t-shirt on in that job. It's because I knew it was going to be a little dusty in there. So the dump, it was 996 pounds in the pickup truck. And that was $28.80 at construction debris pricing. I know that's a lot cheaper than some of you in a different state. Every state, even counties in some states, vary a little bit with how much dump fees cost. So I'll always make sure that if you're just starting off, or even if you're just doing it as a side hustle, know how much things cost to get rid of because that is the main factor of our jobs for junk removal is you need to get rid of stuff. You either donate it, scrap it, recycle it, or dump it. So make sure you know what things cost so you know how to charge. But overall, that job took me 44 minutes to do. And then to get there was about an hour. To get home was about an hour. And we were at the dump for about 15 minutes. Took me about two or three minutes to offload the bed of the truck. And basically by the time I left my house, did all that and got home, it was exactly four hours on the dot. I was like two minutes off. So the job was a little under 300. And overall four hours plus $30 in disposal, let's call it. Fuel wise with just a pickup truck, let's go ahead and say 20, $22. So overall, 
if you just take out disposal and fuel. I didn't use any materials that cost any money and I didn't have any help with me. I did it myself. So without counting my pay, that means I profited about $230, $240 in four hours. So if you were to divide that up as a side hustle, you would basically be making, what, $60, $55, $60 an hour. And, you know, if you were to do this more local, if I didn't have that drive in there, I could still charge the same and still use my pickup truck, but literally knock off probably two hours of time. So then that would have pushed my profit to, let's say, $70, $75 an hour. So obviously, the faster you can get things done, especially like, that's why I like to focus on local jobs, the more profitable it is for you long run. So that's one of the ways you can use just a pickup truck to make money. It's even easier when you just go to pick up one love seat because you literally just plop it on a hand truck or a dolly and bring it out. You throw it in your truck, you throw a strap on it, you're done. I've done jobs where I've gone to pick up like a three-seater couch from a second, third story apartment building, slap it on a hand truck, run a ratchet shop around it, take it downstairs, throw it in the bed of my truck. I'm out of there in like three or four minutes, even with stairs. Like it's not the most complicated thing. And you just either run straight to the dump if it can't be donated here we have a minimum of $10 for the dump. I know for some of you guys, you guys have $95 to $100 minimums, and that's crazy, and I'm sorry. But here is $10 minimum. So if I didn't have anywhere to store it, like a trailer, for example, where I could just go and do a second load, or a third load, or fourth load, and just combine it all, that it would be my cost factor. So it's definitely a doable situation which is a truck if you know my backstory i used to use rental trucks before i even had a pickup truck so to rent a u-haul pickup truck on average for local jobs cost me about 45 to 60 bucks including fuel to go do a job so if i were to do that job for example even including the drive it probably would have cost me 140 bucks altogether including the mileage which was about 88 miles and the fuel and then the base and the insurance all that 130 140 bucks which sounds like a lot but that's still on top of disposal i still would have made like what 80 to 100 bucks and a couple of hours of work so it's just one of those things where you don't have to have a business to do this you can still do it on the side you can do it on the weekends you can do it after work you just need equipment to start and then you grow as you continue on. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an insight. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you you can make $1,000 a day doing junk removal with just a pickup truck. You can, sure, you can make thousands of dollars. You can also make 50 bucks. It really depends on how you market yourself, what kind of jobs you're going after, and you know just how you present yourself. So it's definitely doable, and I think that's a great way to kind of get into junk removal.